Hello, my name is Dr. Koheli Bhattacharya and today we have my favorite vision therapy exercise. Now this is the red green goggles exercise. It is part of our vision therapy kit which is the iFit kit. In the iFit kit we give you a disposable red green goggles. But today I'm going to show you on this how the exercises are done with the same red green goggles. Now in the iFit kit we have the red green goggles and this red green chart. But today in this video, I'm going to explain to you the mechanism by which this red green goggles exercise works, in whom this exercise is excellent and how you can make your own red green goggle exercises at home. So are you ready? Let's begin. So the first thing is, who is this exercise good for? Now this exercise is excellent for amblyopia, that is a lazy eye, that means if one eye is 6'6 six, six, and if the other eye has 6'9 vision or 6'12 vision, up till 6'18 vision in the other eye, I like to give this kind of exercise. This red green exercise is called a binocular vision exercise. What does binocular vision mean? Meaning you are using both your eyes together. When we do patching exercise, meaning closing one eye, meaning if this eye is 618 and this is 66, I would close this eye and force the brain to use only this eye. And this is a form of uniocular monovision, meaning you are trying to build the vision in one eye. But in binocular vision exercises, you are forcing the brain to use both your right eye and your left eye together. Now, when can both eyes work together? When they are almost similar. That is why I like to give this exercise in lazy eye or amblyopia only if the vision is better than 618 vision. Now, this exercise can also be used in squint. When, when do we give this exercise in squint? I like to give it after we have done squint surgery. Now, imagine if you have such a big squint. The possibility that you can use your eyes as binocular vision is pretty rare and it's really not possible. What your brain will do is see the right, then see the left, then see the right, then see the left. But after we have straightened the eye, then both eyes are quite close to each other. But yet the brain may still prefer to use right eye, left eye, right eye, left eye. Why? Because for so many years the brain has done that, right eye, left eye, right eye, left eye. And in this situation, to really lock the vision together, to lock your right and the left to work together is when we use vision therapy and binocular vision therapy. Now, this is where I am quite different from the other squint specialists, squint surgeons in India and also quite different from the vision therapy orthoptists in India. Why is that? Because vision therapy uh, orthoptists will say all squint can be corrected by only doing vision therapy. No, that is not true. If you have such a big squint, then doing this kind of red and green glasses exercise will not help you. First, you need to bridge the gap by doing the surgery. And let's do the surgery. Now, many of the eye surgeons, on the other hand, see a big squint and say surgery is the only option. And after doing surgery, they forget to give this extra bit of functional vision and binocular vision and give them vision therapy. This locking mechanism between the right and left is not done. As long as the eye looks straight and you have 6-6 six, six vision in this eye and 6-6 six, six vision in this eye, they expect the brain to automatically think that we are going to work together. No, the brain needs to be worked on it. And that is why I marry both vision therapy and eye surgery and give you the best result possible for your squint. So, First is in amblyopia we use this exercise, then in squint we use this exercise and preferably we use this exercise only after squint surgery. Can we use this exercise before squint surgery? Only if your squint is intermittent exotropia, especially if it is a form of exophoria, 
then you can do this exercise to help lock your eyes together but i still prefer it after surgery now another great thing of this exercise is that it is both for esophoria meaning ingoing eyes and exophoria meaning outgoing eyes also post surgery people who had eyes going inwards can do this exercise and eyes going outwards can do it do this exercise because now your eyes are straight so this exercise has lots and lots of benefits now let's go to the actual thing of how to do this exercise now you wear this glasses first of all now what happens is your right eye in this glasses your right eye can see only green things and your left eye can only see red things when the left eye sees a green thing it sees it as black and when the right eye sees a red thing it sees it as black so when we see something like this so one of the simplest exercise is to take red paper and green paper so over here i have red paper and green paper and i have to match a red paper on top of the green paper and a green paper on top of the red paper so let us begin first with the green paper now this green paper is seen with my right eye so the information goes in through my right eye crosses over to my left brain some bits go into my right brain okay now the red paper is seen through my left eye and it crosses over to the uh, right side of the brain and the left side of the brain so both my brains are being both the sides of my brain are activated and both my eyes are activated only then can i see both the green paper and the red paper and now i have all these different pages in my hand and i have to match the red on top of the green the green on top of the red followed by the green on top of the red the red on top of the green the green on top of the red and the red on top of the green and in this now this is the red paper and the green paper and you have the red green goggles now we have to see it through the green you can see the green but you can't see the red chart paper at all and the similarly when you see it through the red and the left eye can see only the red chart paper and the right eye can see only the green and so when we match both of them it is a binocular vision therapy exercise this simple exercise that i did i was able to cross connect my brain from the right eye to the left eye from the left eye to the right eye and only when both eyes were working could this exercise be done simply now imagine someone who has a weak uh, left eye and you're wearing this goggles now they can easily see this green paper but they are unable to see with the other eye only when they shut down their right eye can they see this red paper so now they can see the red paper but now in the midst of all of this they can't find the green paper then again they have to shift to the right eye see the green paper then again shift to the left eye for the right paper and then finally decide where to put this and so this shifting this right to left right to left takes time and this exercise will take some time over time you will get better at it now what is this paper this paper also is similarly on a black thing when you wear this goggles you will be unable to read the number within this and here these are e charts you just have to show which side is the e open e is open from top or down top or side wearing your red green goggles when you wear them you can either see the red or you can see the green but to be able to see both of them together is when you can see them in 3d this is this red and green being able to see one thing and another thing from the other eye is the same principle on which 3d movies is based once you have done this exercise really well you will start to see this page as a 3d page you will be able to see that the red ones and the green ones are separated by a certain amount and that is when you know that your 3d vision is improving that is why this exercise is excellent 
for people after surgery because they have till then never gone to a 3D movie. And most movies these days, especially for young generation, are based on 3D vision. And 3D vision is based on the same principle of one eye seeing one thing and the other eye seeing something else and then putting it together. Now that you have understood this concept, of red and green you can do this you can make a lot of exercises like this at home over here I've shown you red to match to green on a chart paper you can do like this in a dark room you can have a laser light of green in someone's hand and a laser light of red in the in your hand when someone puts the laser light of green you have to match it with the red torch and green, again, wherever you see the green, you have to match it to the red. And if they show you a red laser, you have to match it with the green light. The same principle of matching it together. This same principle is also used in video games built or uh, mobile apps which are built for amblyopia therapy or vision therapy. Now, in amblyopia therapy, there will be a video game where there will be red monsters and green monsters. And you have to uh, shoot the red monsters using the green gun and you have to shoot the green monsters using the red gun and again this exercise has to be done using your red green goggles. If you do not wear your red green goggles you can always see the paper in the colors. Okay, so that is the principle behind this. You can also use red buttons and green buttons and wear your red green goggles, put it on a black bed sheet and match the red buttons to the green buttons or the green buttons to the red buttons and that is also a type of vision therapy. Any form of matching your red to the green or the green to the red or being able to see a chart like this is a type of binocular vision exercise excellent for amblyopia, excellent for building your 3D vision, excellent post squint surgery for locking the vision of both eyes together, also excellent for people who use microscopes for work like eye surgeons who use a microscope for surgery because that also dissociates both the eyes and then they lose that sense of together meaning working both eyes together. So neurosurgeons can do these kind of exercises, uh, you know, microbiologists can do this kind of exercise, eye surgeons uh, can use this kind of exercise. Anyone who is using microscopes or eyes which are dissociated by using a tube like even telescope and all where they need to test depth can also do these exercises. These exercises, the red green goggles and the red green chart is available in our iFit kit. The iFit kit is available all through India. You just have to directly message us down or you can leave a WhatsApp message on 830-830-9418 or you can give a call on this number as well, 830-830-9418. You have to GPay an amount on another number. The amount is 2000 rupees for this kit. It has eight exercises, about 25 different videos are shared. We also explain to you how to do this exercise and the, the entire kit is couriered to you. The courier charges are included in the 2000 rupees that you will be uh, giving for the iFit kit. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got a lot of value and understood what is red green goggle exercises and binocular vision exercises.